So guys, it's been a while since I last posted anything in the group because I've been having a mini project. This project was basically me setting up my home entertainment environment. This is what they call a Proxmox virtual environment. It's basically, in layman terms, we're talking about a big computer that is housing a thousand other computers. Anyway, the story started when I used, uh, when this guy died on me. This is where I used to store my movies. Like, I would sit at home. This is connected to my home network, and all my movies are inside here. It was like two terabytes. It died, and it died with all my movies. So I got annoyed and decided to go there. I grabbed a complete PC, put in uh, three hard disks. This is one. This is, I think, around... 500 GB. This is 2 terabytes. That is another 2 terabyte. And this is an SSD which is 500 gigabytes. The one that is running the whole software. And we added like 16 GB of RAM. The motherboard couldn't take more than that. And we installed a hypervisor. A hypervisor is basically a, a virtualized environment where you can install like more computers under it. For example, you have one big server, then under that server you have like little more computers under there. You can have computers, you can have backup servers, you can have storage servers, you can have, you know, all that stuff under one environment. So, to cut the long story short, I'm running a hypervisor. Under it, there is a computer, which is basically a storage system that is called TrueNAS, as you can see. It's currently working. Under it, I have all those disks I've put on my movies and all that, all that, all that. Then under that, I configured my Plex server. Plex is like, it's like Netflix, but only that this time, the Netflix that you have, you can control it. You have all your movies. You don't need to be on the internet to, to access your movies. Uh, practically everything is down there. This is the server now. For example, if I enter home right now, after setting this up on my phone, as long as I'm on my home network, Wi-Fi, I can access this and watch my movies like straight away. For example, here, I just click this guy. And he asks me to resume where I stopped. I can resume or I can start from the beginning. Let me resume. How's that? So imagine that that's on the TV and I don't need to fight with anyone when I want to watch my own things. I just go somewhere and sit with my phone or sit with my TV. But... Who am I going to fight with? I live alone anyway. So anyway, that is like what we are doing. If I'm to show you my list of movies that I have a setup here. I have movies. I have TV shows. I recently downloaded this guy Sanford and Son and the Jeffersons. So I'm going to be laughing the whole night. And uh, I don't really have much under here. These ones are the, are, are the series that I have at the moment. Then we have music videos. I mean, eh. We have edutainment, these are my downloaded courses that I usually watch whenever I need to watch and all that. And then we have, <laughs> this one I can't touch it if I touch it. <laughs> Let's just say it's a <coughs> uh, Yeah, it's what it is. So anyway, so that's what we have. My movies are extensive. I have a lot of movies. So this whole system basically, it's going to work offline. So anyway, in a nutshell, it's working under TrueNAS. Under TrueNAS, this is where we set up our storage system. And even the Plex server, it's set up from there. For example, the Plex server, I just had to go to the plugins and install this. As you can see, the Plex is up and running. And everything is on a point. The mount points where all my data is, my, my videos and all that are all inside there. I hope this thing is zooming properly for you guys to see. Anyway, I know I've been harping on garbage. Most of you might not understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, in a nutshell, I've built Netflix for myself in the house. Okay? Uh, those screens right there is the back end of this whole system. So, literally, we are running on Linux. That's what we are running on. Someone has to literally have a login to be able to access them. That's the Plex server. Uh, exit. 
and if you want to see my media files on the network that's the network storage and everything is there all my videos and what not what not everything is inside there so whatever you see in the movies whatever you see in the in the in the in the in the in the music videos the series everything is inside here as you can see so when we go back to plex you can see all that and all this can play within here all you need to do is just download an app on your phone on your tablet on your tv even on your computer and as long as you're on the same wi-fi in the house you can watch your stuff your kids can watch their stuff on their tablets you can actually set up accounts here whereby you set movies for kids and you give them accounts and those kids cannot enter your other areas for example me i have this this folder here if i'm to open it right now facebook is sending me directly to jail immediately this one has adult entertainment it is for research purposes just in case you're a bit uh, curious but yeah you can set up your your accounts and 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 and, and, and movies for your kids and whatnot and you give them a folder and they can only access that folder according to the account that they put in their tabs and it will be cartoons or it will be educational material and all that and you get them off the internet completely so i've set up this system it has cost me the software itself is free you can get it off the internet setting it up it's your brain the part where i've spent money is here but it was not that much it was not that much because these are toys and i enjoy, I enjoy toys that's what I, that, that, that's why i'm saying it's not that much anyway i'm about to go home i'm done playing around in the in my in my in my small workshop this should be fun so anyway yeah this thing you can set it offline and you will not need internet for this to happen all you have to, to to know is you can update your movies you can download your movies and drop them there you can buy me i usually download them that's why i call it purchasing from torrents and all that and you are good to go so anyway tonight i think i'll watch no tonight i'm not going to watch anything i'll just go and see how how the server does whatever it does and and then I will go as I go.